Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, right. <laughs> I'd like us to make an initialization file. So mm -hmm. to run the Danube model for a long enough spin-up period that we come to a sort of steady state or representative state of the model that we can then use to s as a starting point to run the model for uh, different analyses or evaluation. Mm -hmm. Would you like to open GitHub? Yes. Okay, so um, when we pull origin, we will overwrite uh, the changes you have made in the CWM settings file. But I believe you've um, copied that information somewhere else, so we can paste that back in. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and pull origin. Okay, and click exactly this stash changes and continue. Yeah, this is just what you said. Okay, to confirm the change, could you go to history? Uh, towards the left? Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. And it shows the change I made just several minutes ago. Okay, so let's go to that uh, see what M's template uh, in your computer. You mean the file that I just copied pasted? Uh, the settings file. So uh, it should be within GitHub, see what M. Yes. Okay. Fetching it. Thirty uh, eight minutes. Perfect. Just or, this mm -hmm. this file at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Um let's uh update those three lines. So ah, yeah. Okay. Let's see now. The mm -hmm. path route. Yes. So you don't see it, but I'm copying and pasting from another yeah. file where I had all the path route, there the was. Path out and the mask map. Scroll down yes, just slightly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect here. Here. Yes, then there was coaches. Gauges, yes. Okay, great. Um, then we change also the time. Yeah, let's let's do. But I don't know if okay. Yeah, I want to do, like um. Well, I guess we'll just let's see how long how much climate data do you have? Are we accessing the climate data through the P drive? We are. So, mm -hmm. um, can we go to the P drive folder and see the earliest data that we have? In what model? Yes, see what um. Remind me which was. It could be this one. <laughs> Sorry. The see what I'm input easy map three. Okay. Actually, let's go to the settings file and see where it's pointing towards. Yeah. Okay. Actually, could you just copy this whole line and we can paste it into a folder? Mm, yeah, it's another. Here. Yeah. Okay, could you um, expand the first column somewhat. Or, yeah, ex this is also great. Just maximize is fine. Okay, so we have data all the way from 1901. And if you scroll down, until 2019. Um, the length of a spin-up period, um, I, I, it sort of depends on the area we're dealing with, but there's somehow no harm in doing a longer spin-up period. And since we'll do this and come back tomorrow, we could do mm -hmm. something like a, like a like a 40 year spin up period, just as an experiment. Okay. So you can minimize this and we'll just change the dates in the settings file to be 40 years that go no later than 2019. Starting from? We could say 19, 1960 
let's go 1960 all the way to 2010, let's say. So 50 years. Uh, the spin up we can put none with a capital N at the beginning. Ah, okay, sorry. This one is the end. And maybe just to be sure that we uh we don't make a mistake later, we can do it, yeah, exactly the first day to the last. Oh yeah, first day to the first day, that's great. So like one slash one slash nineteen sixty. Yes. This is fine. Okay, so this would be the 1st of June, 1960, to the um, 1st of June, 2010. Okay, this we've all seen before. Uh, we'll scroll down slightly to see something new. So this load initial is false, that's good. We're preparing the initial file so that the next time we run, it'll be true. But now let's go to save initial, and we'll set this equal to true. And with a capital T. Ah, oh, yes. Of course. The next line says init save, and it says the Rhine. This is just going to be the yeah. labeling of that file. So we could put Danube here. Okay. And in fact, um, this init, if you look at the path root, oh, um, can we look at the path root? I just want to see where, if it's on your computer locally or if it's in the P drive. If you scroll up uh, slightly. Okay, it's locally. So that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay, so let's, so we can leave it as that. We just change the naming to, um, to Danube, great. And now the step in it, every date we put here will uh, on those dates, the model will take a snapshot of every variable that it's calculating. And then we can then use that snapshot to start the model at that point. Mm -hmm. At this point, it, it's sort of non-specific. We can just choose like the beginning of a year or the beginning of the wet season. But maybe just to keep it uh, obvious, we could choose like the 1st of January 2010. And that's going to be like, if we're interested in just a short run of several months, like a winter run, that can be an appropriate initialization uh, step. Or if we do a long run, it doesn't matter. But maybe let's also save um, like the last day of the run, the 1st of June, 2010. Uh, yes, that was... Six, yes. Perfect. And now, um, to make the model run somewhat faster, let's remove all of the outputs. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can drag the... All the way? Yeah, all the way to like the bottom. Completely? Mm -hmm. Completely. Ah, okay. And I guess, yeah, so uh, even more towards the bottom, where it says this out underscore map underscore daily, it's the third last line, let's put a, a comment sign in front of it so it won't read it. So a hashtag or a pound sign. And we see this last one, which is creating just one file at the very end. This just one. for consistency, we could, yeah, we could knock out all of the, the outputs. And then we have one more output towards the top of this section, which is just a text file. That's the directory. Let's keep this there. But just okay. two lines down, this out underscore TSS underscore daily. Let's knock this out just for consistency. Okay, um, let us now run this model. A great save. Okay. Uh, let us open up a command prompt inside of the folder with the settings file. Not this folder exactly. We could always move to the folder, but let's the folder that's holding the settings ah, file. Sorry. No, of it's totally fine. I thought we were there. Yeah. Great. CMD. Yeah, you know these tricks already. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, we type uh, Python. Should we go on my local environment? Uh, of course. Thank you for always bringing yeah. that up. <laughs> so that was. Uh, work on. Work on. I think it's named after you. Yeah. Okay. 
Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. Then the location of the model. Mm -hmm. Which is the other folder. Exactly. Which is... Uh... Uh, almost we oh yeah no you no. <laughs> uh, this is the input file yeah in fact if i think it's in your github folder so if we go one folder back uh, yeah this is this is a nice way to do it i like the way you're doing it let's let's do exactly this technique so in current repository just switch to cwatm ah uh, no this is good this is good uh, thank you for doing this i want to also update <laughs> cwatm <laughs> so uh, okay. go out of this menu and we're going to Go to current repository where it says see what m dash earth dash 30 minutes mm -hmm. yes and go to see what m the line just above great and let's um let's Open it. uh first we have to let's pull the origin we'll see what happens when you go pull origin it's going to complain that we made changes yeah so stash changes and continue Okay, now we have the updated C1M, which is the idea. Mm -hmm. And we're on the beta branch, which I, I still want. So now we can f use this to so go to repository in the top menu and go show an explorer. Yeah, great. And we can copy yeah. this whole folder path. Right, and then slash. Uh, the user slash. Okay. Uh, run underscore see what M. Perfect. Dot py. And then space, and then I guess your settings file is just called settings. You can just type in the word S, type in the letter S, and then tab. And it should complete the rest. Great. And then space dash L. Okay. Mm. Let's see what messages we get, or if it just does the whole run. You can push enter. Yeah, I push. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, that's about the size of the Danium. Things are looking good so far. Okay, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Great, so it's from 1960. A bit slow as user. Yeah, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's fine. So then we'll come back tomorrow. Um, we'll look at this initial file and we'll go from there. Okay. Cool, all right. Okay, sounds good. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.